Okay, now let's make some sage butter. So heat a pan on a really, really high heat for approximately one to two minutes, then add the butter to it. Now you let the butter cook away. You will now find that the butter will brown a little bit and that's because of the milk solids in it. So just keep tossing it around. You don't want it to burn. So just keep moving it, moving it, moving it. You can see now how the butter browns up. So it's basically now all the milk solids are burning off. And that's the same thing as you would do when you make traditional ghee. But in my case now, I want those milk particles or just to sort of attach themselves a little bit on the bottom of the pan. And once it stops foaming, you know you have cooked off all the water from the milk solids. And then you will suddenly find that on the bottom of the pan it becomes a bit golden brown. And sort of just when before that happens, while it's still foaming a little bit, add your sage and you could use any other herb. It could be rosemary, it could be thyme. And add some pepper to it. And just sort of keep tossing that through. And as all the water evaporates from the butter, as well as from the herbs, you will find that the foaming eventually will stop. And then you always can check the readiness of the sauce by sort of looking at its color. And you can see now it becomes nice and golden brown. You can see on the top those little brown spots or round, brown islands, and that's sort of the leftover of the milk solids. And you see now how it sort of slowly stops boiling and that's when I know it's ready. Because now I cooked off all the milk solids and here we go. That's your sage butter. So, but it is very important that you develop a little bit of that brown color as you can see on the edge of that pan. And you will find that your sage butter will have some brown and some golden spots. And that's the leftover of the milk solids and that gives it that nice and lovely toasting flavor that's quite nutty and goes so nicely with pasta. So here we go, that's your sage butter which goes brilliant with ravioli and gnocchi and all sorts of other pasta.